G'day fellas. Welcome to a recorded game review where we're going to be taking a look at Migo versus Kozisk. Uh, now, I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm just going to be calling it... Uh, we'll call it Koz because I want to ignore that C. I'm not going to say that C. If I said that C, we'd be in a bit of a bit of a, a bit of strife, I'd say that much. So, the game that we've been sent... Hold on, let me just... Uh, let me head over to this one. Maybe that's a bit better. Chuck this up over there. Yeah, there you go. Now you can't even see how long the game's going for. All right. So for anybody unfamiliar with the players, Migo is an absolute beast. Uh, Migo was in. He's, he's been. He's been a uh, been a bit of a boss when it comes to the tournament circuit for quite some time. Uh, quite a strong player. I think currently ranked in the top twenty. His opponent, uh, Koz, is uh, is ranked in I, I think in the top ten. Uh, so quite. Quite a good player. Uh, also goes by the name of Don Artie. Uh, there's some people in the chat, Laha95, saying hello, YouTube. Unfortunately, he can't see himself at the moment. We are currently live over on Twitch uh, doing this cast. Both players opting to take a trading post. Now, something that you don't see on this map is uh, the Houdinay, the Houdinays, the Houdinashoni taking trading posts. Uh, primarily, oh my, look how sneaky he is. You gotta be careful with that. That's only got 250 health. Actually, you could probably take th three shots from the town center. So it's uh it's definitely got possibility to 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 die. Putting down the longhouse right here. So one of the options is on this map, if you get enough cows, you can instead uh make a farm with your with your starting uh travoir. But uh, obviously Migo not opting for that, instead going for the trading post. Probably a bit of a a bit of a safer move. Cause is Donardi. He could be. I'm not too sure. I'm I'm not too sure. Uh, but we've got both players now securing some of the yaks in the north of the map. We've got six yaks over for Koz. And for Migo, we've got... How many have we got? We've got four for Migo. So not a, not a huge amount for Migo. Are there any? There's still one that hasn't been found. One over here that got deleted. Uh, must have been by the Mongolian scout. Where is that Mongolian scout? We'll turn off line of sight. Probably a bit easier to see. There's a Mongolian scouts right now fighting each other over the yaks. So we've got uh, still got that four yaks now for Migo. Feels bad when a when a yak gets deleted in the early game. We'll take a look at the decks. We'll see what each player is up to. One v one standard. The Lakota, or the the Lakota, the Iroquois decks don't really change a lot. The Houdinese decks don't really change a lot. They're they're very typical decks. Um, this this is a very typical deck. Uh, got both of the infantry upgrades in here. Got the conser the the conser conservative tactics. God, that was difficult to say. Uh, interestingly, got exotic hardwoods. I don't know whether that's standard, but uh, I definitely feel like you don't see it a lot. So uh, it's a uh, it's good to see. It's good to see. We'll take a look over at Cos and going for seven sheep and a homestead wagon. So sending three villagers as not sending three villagers as the first card. That that is the first card coming in now. <gasps> Look how many cows he's got. He's got seven cows and he's got all of these sheep as well. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Well, it turns out that cows may be indeed overpowered. And it is called Mongolia Test. Now, I do suspect this is probably a um, uh, probably done uh, in quick search. I don't think this would have been done um, in, in a private game. I think this is a quick search game because both of their colors are just primary colors. We've got the red and the blue. I just Now, I just realized that's going to be changing around, so that's going to confuse people. We'll turn this one on so the colors don't change. We'll give you green and pink. So, Migo going up at 322. We'll take a look. He's sending in the four Kanye. So, this is going to be hitting nice and hard. He's got the Travar going out. Probably going to be placing this Travar in a relatively aggressive position, potentially up here to the north. Uh, just, just sort of cutting off these two coin mines, the hunt. Going a little bit more down to the south. Going to be able to secure this coin mine. Definitely provide a lot of line of sight down to the south. Connecting the house up sort of creates this sort of ring around his opponent. So now the Mongol scout catching out the, the Travar, but forcing it into a war hunt. Uh, not really changing his plan, so he's not too worried. Not going to bother sieging the war hunt either. It's a little bit early for him to be getting any real damage out. Mongol scout now going in to, to scout. He, he knows what his opponent's up to, uh, but he's really just going to be looking for that shipment. The shipment should be coming in any second now. There it is. If he's smart, he would have scouted. He's probably seen the, the horseman on the way. We take a look and see what he's up to. Second shipment has come in. It is the fulling mills. This is gather rate work or gather work rate for herded animals increased by 300%. So 
So that takes them up to, I think it's uh, six food a second is what they gather at. Now, yaks, uh, yaks fatten very quickly because they've only got a cap of 400 food. Not like cows, which have got a cap of 500 food. Oh, really, really bad timing. The outpost absolutely going to go down right here. No no two ways about it. Oh, and being blocked by the Sega. There was a Sega that blocked it. Oh, it feels bad, man. Four minutes 30 is when this timing attack hits. So, Koz is going to be in a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a difficult spot here. 14 idols at the moment. No villagers. Uh, curious how he's going to manage to sort of pull out of this one. Probably going to be going, what, 700 wood next? Maybe six muskets? or oh, seven cows. you got to go for the semi semi-fattened cows. Being sieged by the Mongol scout at the top. We're going to change perspectives just so we don't have to listen to that siege constantly going off. Um, and we'll see what's happening now. So more tomahawks being trained in the queue. We've got Henry that's about to go down. The, the Kanyas are just doing absolute work. 313 HP. Eero Explorer, by the name of Tree, is in the base. Forcing a lot of idle time right now. If we take a look, 15 villagers that are idled. Really, really nice play. I, I, this, is a, this is quite a good build order, but actually sieging down the manor houses here as well. Uh, so the manor houses got a, a bit more HP than a normal house does. Also a little bit worthless, worthless to siege. I don't know. Uh, I think maybe if your opponent's going for a bit more of a greedy build like this with the livestock pen, it's probably not a bad idea. You might eventually house them. Uh, sending in the six tomahawks as well. So going to have a fair batch of tomahawks coming in now. So up to seven tomahawks in total. Town center doesn't have colonial militia yet sent in from the home city. We do have town militia. Still being sieged at the top. This mongoose scout being so annoying. I get really frustrated with that. I wish you could just I wish you could just hit an ignore warning button. Okay, now finally being, being changed over. More Tomahawks coming in. Three more, a batch of three training Tomahawk or Tomahawks training. We've got huge cords of wood being picked up by the villagers. Still only got 150 health. No great coats. Harrison would be very, very upset. Though I guess, uh, I guess Koz doesn't actually have a market yet. So curious if he's actually going to be able to hold this or not. Villager almost going down, throwing the Tomahawks. Now entering into, into melee mode. Really trying to get this damage out a little bit faster. Still not sieging down this manor house all the way. Even if you did, it, th this is the thing. You can siege this manor house, but you're not going to pop a British player. Um, and uh, at this point, you, I mean, uh, it doesn't look like the game's over. We know that it's not that it's not over just because of the lack of units here. Migo isn't taking trading posts behind this. He is sending the 600 wood now, which is the right decision. Uh, he's taken down the house as well. Managed to do a fair bit of idling, but he hasn't really been investing in his economy behind this. Hasn't sent the three villages. He's gone double unit shipments. We're at six minutes 40, so still particularly early in the game. Now managing to get the, the barracks. Probably going to go up, but going to lose a villager at what cost? This, this villager is almost guaranteed to go down. Migo making the right choice, getting it around. We've got the fattened cows that are out already, so that, I think that might be the very first villager that's going down. Uh, yaks are getting... Uh, eaten on top of the town center, so a really nice spot. Still got coin on the ground as well for Koz, so town militia now coming in. Going to be able to defend this really well. Not going to be able to quite one-shot the Tomahawks, but definitely going to be able to do a fair bit of damage to them with the town militia. Not being sieged up on this trading post anymore. And the cows are indeed looking pretty darn fine. Uh, so it needs to get these resources picked up. He's got five muskets in queue, seven muskets in queue. Really quite a nice timing here from uh, from Migo. The fact that he managed to get that tower down was so big because think about it, this entire time he's been able to, to really be doing all this damage without muskets. Um, and 16 settlers being bailed up inside that town center. 500 resources or 500 wood resources. Take a look at Migo, see what he's up to. Migo now taking the trading line, getting the trading cart upgrade as well. This is the stagecoach upgrade. So doing the right thing. Uh, this is exactly what he needs to be doing. Also sending five villagers from the home city. So doing his own little little boom. Kanya Horseman now coming out also. Got a second barracks that's going up. So definitely looking to hit a timing attack. Take a look at this. 11 villagers on coin and still overgathering with so much food just simply because of how fast these these villagers gather eight food a second not not six it's eight food a second that is a lot of food a second eight food a second each one so that's equivalent to like 10 villages this is like 50 villages right here gathering food that's what's happening sending in the seven semi-fattened cows as well so these these are fattening at the same time as as these are being gathered look how fast they gather these yaks 
This is ridiculous. This is 400 food right here. Look how quickly this goes down. Look at it just... Look at that. It's, that's insane. What the heck? We've now got the musketeers coming out onto the map. Looking to apply some pressure up on these tomahawks. These tomahawks were, were sieging down the... Uh, we're sieging down the trading posts. I love this color green. Have a look at this color green on the minimap. Doesn't it look so beautiful? I really like this this green. It's, it's, it's a very, very nice color. Tomahawks need to be careful not to get caught in the socket. Now that the, the uh, sheep have fully fattened, we're at nine minutes. Now the, the cows are rotating in. I, I love this build order so far. This is really, really nice. He's got the trading post on wood. Needs to try and heal this one up. Does he have the heal coming off yet or the repair? Repair isn't currently available. Gets the pass. Repair should be available. Still not getting it off. Scaring off those tomahawks again. Auto repair is enabled. So repair is now... If we click on it, yeah, it is now repairing. Plenty of muskets coming out. A huge batch of them. Got more double batches being brought in. 600 wood also coming in. Take a look at Migo, see what he's up to. So Migo's got 33 villages and triple trading post. So not too bad at all. A really quite a nice early game from him. Also sending in the 7 Aena. So not opting for a more economic shipment like the uh, the 800 crates of resources. Doesn't really appear to be opting for any kind of uh, play at, at, uh, at third age at all. Really just sticking it out to the second age going for burning down a trading post now so yes. cos definitely knowing uh knowing what's up his trading post on the other hand still repairing it's at 1900 health slowly trickling Ready. back up we're up we've got 39 muskets out now on the map barracks aren't doing any training we've got the cows that are fattening up sheep that are still fattening up as well just uh, now the, these this is infinite sheep so I mean, you could potentially be sending this in again if you need to. The Iroquois Explorer going down, being caught out of position. And some Aina now on the back line that are going to be getting caught in between the two sets of musketeers. Huge amount of musketeers here. This is ridiculous. Managing to double racks that early and just keep up production means that you're just so far ahead. Normally, you wouldn't be adding the racks off the 700 wood. The second racks, rather. You'd be adding it off the 600. Uh, but... Um, Pretty impressive stuff. Now, the range on Aenas, they've only got 16 range, and they've got this absolutely terrible animation. All of the Aenas have died. Now, I've got some raiding uh, Tanya Horsemen. Uh, Corral has been dropped down in the base of Migo. We take a look at Koz, see what Koz is up to. He's got 28 idols at the moment, not a huge amount of villagers. That's not really where he's getting his economy from. His economy is in these cows, in this livestock. So, a huge amount of livestock that he's still got sitting here. And keep in mind, he can still be sending in... He's got ranching available. You can now train p cows from your pens. This looks like a treaty deck. Cause, are, are you are you playing treaty here, mate, or are you playing uh, are you playing the the supremacy game mode? That, that that is ridiculous. Ranching as well. I wonder. I don't. I don't think you could ever probably get ranching out. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even going to put it past him. I'm going to say probably could. Got a, a Mongol scout now sieging up to the north. We're just going to change perspectives because we don't want to hear that. S this this Mongol scout has been so pesky. It's so frustrating when you're playing and you hear that that little siren going off all the time because it just distracts you. You just ask yourself, oh, what is that annoying sound? You look at the mini map and you see it, and you have to change your perspective and you have to go up here and you you know you might send a unit or two up there and you might forget about it and then they they get pushed back. It's very frustrating to deal with. This is this is a very very strong build. Uh, I like the fact that with the, with the five thousand coin mine, it's, it's a great point. Squamai was saying in the chat uh, that it's it's very strong for the Brit. But we've got a bit of a fight happening now. The Tomahawks on the back line managing to push up to the front, getting into melee combat. Take a look at the the melee difference. Minutemen being called out. Keep in mind that the, the town militia is uh, in for the uh, for the British player. I don't think it's going to be able to one-shot the Aina. They do have that 30% rain, range resist. Minuteman also moving into position. And Koz just absolutely cleaning up this fight. Really no two ways about it. Up to 37 villages now. So not a particularly high boom. Has sent in the five villages. But got plenty of vills that he can boom uh, with the manors. Almost being housed as well. So, uh, you know, uh, he's got 27 population yet. Quite rare to see a, a British player that isn't... G no, my God. He's sending in ranching. He is sending in ranching. He, he is literally pulling off a cow boom 
against one of the best players in Age of Empires 3. And he's doing it unironically. That's the worst part. Like, this is actually good. Now, the reason why this is so good is because it's Mongolia. Because you start off and there are so many cows that you can actually grab. You can invest in a, a livestock pan and you can time it so that, you know, it, things aren't going terribly, if that makes sense. Because one of the things is is that when you do send in that infinite livestock pen and and the uh, the sheep, the, they take a time to fatten. But the, the yaks are already fattening from the beginning of the game. So at this point, I think the game is most likely going to be over. There it is. There it is. Well played to both Cos as well as uh, to Migo. Impressive stuff.